Hey kids and welcome to Awesome Oceans, exploring our underwater planet. The TV show that takes you out of the classroom and face to face with some of the creatures under the sea. My name is Sam and this is Cheryl Lynn, a marine biologist and underwater explorer. This show is part one of a six part series where we'll look at everything under the sea from stealthy sharks to giant squid. It's important that you pay close attention because after the show, you'll have the opportunity to call or email us with any questions that you might have. Let's get right into it. Today we're looking at cetaceans. Cetaceans are whales, dolphins, and porpoises. Now, Sherilyn, I understand that you have a couple of key words for us today. Yeah, that's right. We have two key words today. Our first key word is cetacean, and our second key word is echolocation. Sounds easy enough. So, cetaceans, what are they? Cetacean is the scientific classification of mammals that live in the water. There's over 80 modern species, and they've all evolved from land-living animals. So hang on a second, if they've evolved from land-living animals, are they like us? Exactly, they are. They're mammals, we're mammals, as are elephants and giraffes and cats. And at some point in their lives, all mammals have had hair, they give birth to live young, they breathe air, and they have a spinal column. Like this? Exactly. This is a vertebra from a sperm whale, and we have them as well. Ours are a little bit smaller, and they are right down here in your spine. So every time you pet your cat and you can feel those bumps, that is the vertebra you're feeling. Our closest modern relative to whales, dolphins, and porpoises is the hippopotamus, and they also have a spinal cord. So, Sherilyn, is there a whole bunch of different types of cetaceans? Well, there's the three cetaceans, the dolphins, porpoises, and whales, and there's two different types. What there's are the differences between them, then? There's the differences in their teeth, really, their dentation. So there's tooth whales, which mm -hmm. have teeth like we have, uh, but a lot bigger, to catch and eat their prey. And that includes the dolphins and porpoises and killer whales and other whales that have teeth. And then there are baleen whales that use a baleen plate like this instead of teeth. Now, I heard that this is just like my fingernails. Exactly. This is made from the same material as our fingernails are. It's, it's keratin. But it's, it has a slightly different function. This would be in the whale's mouth and the whale would take a big gulp of water into its mouth, it would close its jaw, and then spit the water back through its uh, baleen, and everything that's caught on the inside of the mouth, the whale can then eat. And we hmm. can do a little demonstration, if you like, to show how this is, uh, how this is done. Okay. So we have a, a sieve, which would act like the baleen, and we have some little pretend krill inside. Okay. We'll put the krill in the water. And this will be the inside of the whale's mouth. So the, whale, the water is already in the mouth. It's pushing all the water back out of its teeth. And then everything that's left behind is the krill or the food. That might not necessarily be krill. It could be fish. And then the whale can just basically lick the back of its teeth and swallow all of its food. So cetaceans include whales porpoises, and dolphins. In a minute, we're going to watch a video about spotted dolphins. Now, Sherilyn, there must be t many, many different types of dolphins out there. There are. There are lots of dolphins, and the most common one that you're probably thinking of is the bottlenose dolphin, which you usually see at marine land or on, in videos. And there's also river dolphins, which live just in fresh water, and they don't even live in the ocean. There's spinner dolphins, which actually jump out of the water and spin while they're jumping. And there's the spotted dolphin. So kids, you remember echolocation was the second keyword of the day. So pay attention in this video because echolocation comes up. 